is five foot seven. And Cortez getting started strongly here, working off the jab. Got some great sparring to prepare for this fight against Kenny Sims Jr. and Michael Rivera. Uh, he knew he had to be cautious and be careful against a guy like Bernaldez who has twice as much experience in the ring as does Cortez. And he's a last minute opponent. Cortez scheduled originally to fight Andrew Concio. And about 10 days ago, Concio pulled out of the fight and uh, Bernaldez answered the call. Yeah, not, and, and not an easy villain. Bernaldez is a so it's just part of the part of the sport. Yeah, they said the opportunity to fight on a world title fight like this on a huge fight, fight weekend um, here in Las Vegas was one that was too good to pass up. So instead of just waiting to reschedule the fight, he took the last minute opponent and said, you know, uh, he's confident in his ability and said, we want to take the opportunity. So here we are. And Cortez is looking really good so far. I, I like his use of feints, his uh, uh, moving around the ring well. He's keeping Bernaldez at bay, who is generally a very, very aggressive guy, wants to come forward, put your head on, on your chest and bang away, but Cortez is not allowed him to do that. Yeah, Bernaldez, uh, 17 knockouts in his 23 victories. He's looking to maybe get some revenge for his friend and former stable mage, Genesis Cervani, who I mentioned earlier was knocked out in the first round in the last fight against Cortez, so he's trying to get some get back here. Unless he goes down in these next five seconds, has at least gone farther than did Genesis Cervania. He's kind of throwing it out there, but it's consistent with it. That right hand land for Cortez. Yeah, beautiful counter with multiple, multiple punches and then steps into the center of the ring. Good bring general up Take my courage to the next level. Good luck to you, fellas. Mark Kriegel with the WBO light, junior lightweight champ, Michaela Mayer, taking on IBF champ, Maiva Amadouche, in our main event. Also, I forgot to mention, Chris, the Ring Magazine title also on the line for these ladies tonight, the Ring Magazine belt. So Ooh, that's, that's a nice, a pretty, important one. Yeah, pretty piece of hardware if you know of the history of boxing. Those don't come around too often. They're not on the line too often, and it lends itself to just the caliber of the fight, and not only in this division, but women's boxing as a whole. So kudos to these ladies for looking to unify us. Their heads come together briefly here in round three. Alan Huggins checking the guys out, letting them resume. No cuts from that headbutt. Good triple jab there from Cortez. Missed the first two, landed the third one. Nice and solid. needs to push the pace more. He's, he's spending too much time in that mid-distance and getting out work. Yeah, he's more Ooh. efficient when he's coming forward. And, oh, and vicious body he shot. He hit him with a hand. good body shot with that lead left hand first. Cortez goes right back to that body. Smart. Oh, big right hand from Cortez. Beautiful counter. And there it is again, and then he comes back with the left hand. Cortez has got him in some trouble. Cortez backs up, gives himself some space. Bernaldez looking for an answer now. Tries to throw the left hand, but he's in trouble. His legs are wobbling. Got him up against the ropes, and it is over. Andre Savage Cortez stops Mark Bernaldez in round three. Throws his mouthpiece into the crowd. Thank you. 
for one. It didn't look like this was the last minute replacement. Cortez had a great game plan. He went out and he executed. Fernandez came on in the beginning of that third round. That just woke Cortez up. Hit him with a hard body shot. Had him hurt. Had him hurt upstairs and went for the finishing guy. It's like he decided to put his pedal all the way down to the metal and, and, and get a knockout out there. Absolutely paid off big. And he adds another knockout as he hugs his dad and his brother, who is his trainer. So credit to the whole Cortez crew there, collecting a victory in his backyard here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And that's how you capitalize on a big moment. Absolutely. To think, he was just saying the fire meeting, they wanted to pull out because of the, the last minute replacement. They did. They did. So that was a fantastic performance. And stopping a guy who had gone the distance with both fences and Albert Bell, that's, that's a feather in the cap. And he did it by boxing and banging, too. He kind of showed a little bit of both tonight. He didn't have to just box. He knew when to kind of pick his shot. Uh, and it wasn't until he got caught with a pretty good shot that it really woke him up and he went in there for the finish in round three. And he chose his respect to Bernaldez for even stepping up to the plate and taking the challenge. Here's how he got it done. Yeah, absolutely. Shortly before this, Bernaldez kind of had the blueprint of what he needed to do in order to get this fight going. But he saw that left hook to the body really took a lot out of Bernaldez. He had hit, got hit with two of those earlier. And really, I think the body shots really set up the headshot there. Had Bernaldez in all types of trouble, legs wobbly. Cortez forcing the stoppage by letting his hands go. Not landing huge shots there, but the referee had seen enough. And the panel was pretty nice. Very, very shot. smart, efficient work from Cortez throughout. When he boxed, when he punched, when he's going for the finish, all of it done exactly the way you should. And I think if I could make one critique, it's maybe turn that turn those gloves over a tiny bit more for uh, Cortez and Jeffy. Maybe can generate even a little bit more power as he kind of went in here. And I mean, when you're in a flurry and you're just trying to get it done, yeah, it looked like he was more trying fight. to just force the stop, force yeah. the referee to stop the fight because he had already hit him with big shots, had him hurt. His head was offline, so I, I, I like what I saw from Cortez tonight. Good progression. I think he's improving. Yeah, back-to-back. -back, uh, great performances.